Hey everyone, today we are in Yukon, Oklahoma, and this is the hometown of Garth Brooks. So this is the old Route 66 right here as you enter Yukon, and you can see this sign right here that's saying it's the home of Garth Brooks. And as you get into town, you'll see signs all over the place. He has a boulevard that's named after him, and so there's signs all along there. But I'm going to show you a couple things that you might not have known about Garth Brooks. So let's get to it. This is the Yukon Water Tower, and you can see Garth Brooks' name and signature. And below that, they proudly display the accomplishments of Yukon High School. But you can see that he is definitely the pride and joy of Yukon. Right there at the top of the water tower. This is the boyhood home of Garth Brooks, and it is located at 408 Yukon Avenue. And uh, I can just imagine Garth Brooks playing in this front yard, kind of like that dog is right now. But can you picture him looking out the window and playing in the driveway, things like that? New. Hey, Poochie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? There's just a little dog here. Actually, it's a good sized dog right in front of Garth Brooks' house. So I'm now out here in the Yukon Cemetery and I'm going to show you Garth Brooks' grave. And you may be wondering, Garth Brooks' grave? He's not dead yet, but he, he actually has a grave. So this is the memorial area of Garth Brooks and his family. And it's a large area. It spans all the way there, around, and over to there, and back. And this is where his family is located. So we'll take you in there. This is well maintained, and I don't know if it's maintained by someone of the cemetery, or a friend of the family, or what. So I've been out here before, and uh, these are just crepe myrtles and different bushes that flower and things like that. In fact, I was out here before and this bush was so covered I didn't even realize that there's actually a little, wa little waterfall in there with some doves. But you can see the trail is actually raked. And so any footprints that you leave here, so I've kind of just done an experiment to see, they'll rake over your footprints and it's like you're you were never even here. So you walk down through this trail and straight ahead is his parents. This is Garth Brooks' mom and dad right here. You can see that he was actually a veteran. You can see a little Marine Corps flag there. That is where his mother and father are buried. Now Garth Brooks is right here. His grave is right here. And it's wet out here today, but you can see his birth date there and his first name is Troil. Garth is actually his middle name. But when he passes, this is where he's gonna be buried. right here so that is his grave so one day he's going to be buried there and you can see this is uh his sister right there now he only had one actual uh sibling the others that he had were actually um half siblings and so those are actually going to be buried out here as well Actually, there's actually one already buried here, and it's this one right here. And uh, he was actually a uh, deputy up in the Tulsa area, I believe. Um, but I could be wrong on that. It actually says uh, Oklahoma deputy right there, so I don't know if that was Oklahoma County, but I thought he was a police officer up in the Tulsa area. 
but you can see how large this area is right here all of these are flower beds that are part of this brooks area it's just one big flower bed there but you can see that there are little stepping stones in here someone has placed statues a little birdhouse back there another little stepping stone there's a stepping stone there it will have all sorts of flowers in here this is the back side of the memorial there for Garth Brooks parents now Garth Brooks dad's name was actually Troil so that's where he gets his name right there it's from his father and you can see a picture, a close-up picture of his mom and dad. Now his mom was actually a country recording artist in her own right back in the 1950s. And uh, I believe I saw where Jackie Gleason was actually a backup singer for her. And then I believe that... Um, Garth Brooks actually signed with the same record company that she had signed with. Like I said, this is the grave site of Garth Brooks. And also, his siblings will be buried here. There's one right over there that is. It's kind of a neat little plot area. I, I'm not sure um, how many are actually taken up by this space that he's purchased. My guess is... Probably more than 50 plots that would normally fit in through here that he's actually purchased and uh, created this for his family. Pretty interesting to see that this is here and uh, there's probably a lot of people that don't know about this. But it's the Brooks family plot area. This was the Yukon High School where Garth Brooks attended. It's no longer the high school. They've actually built a new high school, but this is where he would have gone. And you can kind of just imagine Garth Brooks uh, roaming through those halls and coming out that door. This is now an enrollment center and middle school, but it's, it's still uh, quite a large high school that was here. And it is right on the corner of Yukon Avenue and Garth Brooks Boulevard, right down the road from where his house was. But anyways, just wanted to show you where he went to high school at. Now this would have been Jackie's hairstyling. This would have been where um, Garth Brooks and also his mother got their haircuts. And you can still see that it says beauty shop parking only. And inside you can see remnants of how it looked as a beauty shop. But they were a close family friend of Garth Brooks and the family. So the son of that uh, lady was actually the manager for Garth Brooks at one time. But I guess you could get your hair cut in there for a long time and you could see pictures of Garth Brooks and stuff like that in there, but this, this salon is no longer open. It's closed. Um, but like I said, they were a close personal friend. So anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this little video and give you a little bit of insight uh, into Garth Brooks and his hometown of where he grew up. And his name can be seen everywhere in this town. You can see his name on all kinds of signs. Home of Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks Boulevard. There's signs everywhere with his name on it. All sorts of street signs.